All right, so this unseasonably warm weather has been nice, right? But it's not been so good for local ski resorts. Yeah, you may not think about that all the time. This warm and wet winter forecast has had an impact. In fact, temporarily closing operations at Whitetail Resort in Mercersburg, Pennsylvania. Yeah, all of this happening just ahead of President's Day weekend, a very popular time for skiers and snowboarders to hit the slopes. Somehow we got meteorologist Caitlin <laughs> McGrath to get off the slopes and tell us more about the status of the ski area and what are they planning to do to kind of preserve the upcoming coming holiday weekend. Well, Leslie and Lorenzo, I spoke with a representative with Vail Resorts, which owns Whitetail, and the messaging is that even though the resort is closed for now, it will not be closed for long. They plan to reopen tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., and the staff is gearing up for a brief but efficient snowmaking window tonight. We have to be able and agile and ready to respond with our snowmaking abilities and our snowmaking systems in order to really take advantage of colder weather when it comes in so we can try to increase that snow cover and get our mountains open for the guests. Our record warm winter has been hard on our local ski areas. We received this photo from Whitetail taken just this past Sunday. The resort is banking on the brief cold snap arriving Friday to fire up their recently upgraded snowmaking machines. Vail, which owns Whitetail, along with 36 additional resorts in 15 states and three countries, invested $3.6 million into their operations so they could weather snowless winters with protecting the environment and reducing emissions top of mind. We can now make more snow and less time with less energy, which is so important. Because in today's changing climate, man-made snow is vital to the future of ski resorts. Snowmaking was nothing like it is today. 90 miles southwest, Keith Wade has been visiting Timberline Mountain in Davis, West Virginia for as long as he's been on skis. Look at the mountain, look what they've done, it's awesome. The snow gun technology is getting better and better every year, and so we're embracing a lot of tower-mounted fan guns, which bring a ton of efficiency to it and also allows us to make snow at higher temperatures. With wild weather swings, the windows for snowmaking are becoming more erratic and less frequent, while still requiring a lot of energy and water. Snowmaking machines at Timberline Mountain pump 6,500 gallons of water from local streams and ponds that recapture melted water per minute. But snowmaking capabilities aren't always created equally. Timberline averages 150 inches of annual snowfall, but so far this year, only around 40 inches have fallen. But with the power of snowmaking, the base is up to 10 feet and the mountain is 100% open. But Timberline has elevation on their side. Temperatures are much colder at over 4,000 feet of elevation where the mountain sits versus around 850 feet where Whitetail Resort is. Whitetail is currently reporting a base depth of just 18 inches. Now, with so many of our local ski areas like Whitetail, Liberty, Roundtop, and Seven Springs all falling under the ownership of Vail, when you purchase their season Epic Pass, you gain access to all of the slopes across the country. So on days like yesterday when Whitetail is closed or maybe conditions just aren't that great, you can ski at any of the resorts. And it seems like some people don't mind the, the artificial snow. Yeah, some think it skis a little bit better. Okay. It's a big Beach weekend, there. so I know this is, is. this is why it's so important yeah. for them to get this going tonight. The cold weather is coming at a really great time.